the pattern has been made, so now we begin the real Boy, fab. This is the sweet life. All we're missing is mayonnaise. So, the plan is I cut out my pattern pieces from my muslin, which there I have a video up here somewhere and in the description for uh, the actual pattern making process. And then I have I have in here some fabric. I have this fabric, which is like, I don't actually know what it is. I think it's silk, um, but I have this silk that I'm gonna use as lining. Hopefully, I haven't even checked, but hopefully I have enough to line the top and an underskirt, which I want the underskirt to be like a full circle skirt, but I don't know if I have enough for that, so we'll see. And then I have this gray, this gray sheer, which is gonna be literally everything else. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use this to drape the top and I'm gonna use this as the skirt. And my goal with the skirt is to make like a handkerchief style skirt but asymmetrical at the same time i really don't know what i'm gonna do um but i'll yeah so those are my fabrics and i also have a hold on okay i have this leather which is being reclaimed and repurposed and whatever from these cushions uh, that got torn apart and thrown out. So we're gonna use this for the weird shoulder thing and the waistband of the skirt. I also, I should have eyelets somewhere over there uh, to do the lace up detail in the back of both pieces. Yeah, that's my plan. Right now I'm gonna start with cutting out the lining and putting all of that together and then, and the skirt. I really have no, no, no step-by-step -step plan yet. So, I guess, <laughs> let's get sewing. Actually, we're cutting first. I began with marking and cutting out the skirt. It is just a plain old circle skirt and I tried to use my fabric as best as I could with placing the patterns and all of that. It did, however, turn out I was about to cut four pieces of each pattern, which is just not correct because it's an asymmetrical design, so you only need one piece of each. Even though it's an asymmetrical design, I still cut two pieces of each pattern piece. I need one piece for lining and one piece for the outside, and that outside piece will eventually get covered and draped in sheer. I then started sewing up all the seams in the bodice and I forgot to film any of it, which is always great. So a quick recap of the process is just cutting out a rectangular of fabric and folding it up a bunch until I'm happy with it. That was the entire process. It took up a lot of pins, um, but this is what it looked like in the end. I kept all my folds going in the same direction to make it consistent. I also should have done one piece that circled the entire body, but I didn't, so I had to struggle closing up that side seam. I then did a quick basting stitch around the entire edge of the garment to make sure while I handle the garment to finish everything else off that none of my folds would fall out. Quickly trimming away all the excess fabric, it really shows how the garment is actually going to look in the end. And this is my first time ever using this method of draping. I then steamed the entire top to set those pleats and folds into the fabric. As I said before, I had made two, I had cut two pieces of each pattern so that I could create two bodices, one as a lining, one as a, a, like a backing to the shear. So the, this is now the lining I attached right sides together to the shear, leaving the center back open and front and back shoulder open. Also my camera is being really weird, so uh, that's what I get for having an old phone camera, I guess. 
I then did my best to understitch the lining side around both the bottom and the top. I don't think I made this a really long time ago, but I don't think I was actually able to get all the way around because like the actual bodice is really tiny. So I couldn't actually get around it on my machine, but I knew that if I did it, it would force the fabric to roll over so you don't see the lining on the outside. I then also for the first time added or structural pieces to the inside of the garment. This is like hem tape. Uh, it's just like it's a stiffly woven cotton that I I cut up and and just did a quick like tacking stitch into the front sleeveless side because I designed it to be very high for my own comfort and that weird shape in the piece actually made it flop over. So I had to add something structurally to avoid that. I also put the hem tape in the center back to structure the, the eyelets for lacing up the back. The other thing I added to structure the garment was some salvaged bra pads. I just, I also just tacked those in and like the top corner to the lining and that gave a lot of structure as well to the garment. I was really surprised with how much structure does for a garment. We now begin on the skirt. For the sheer part of the skirt, I cut out two layers. One, no I didn't, did I? Did I? I don't remember. For the skirt, I am cutting out little like diamond shapes to create that handkerchief shape that I was talking about earlier. This is definitely not the method I was actually referring to. I had no idea what I was doing. So I cut out like eight pieces in, in varying lengths to create the asymmetrical design of the piece. Unfortunately, I do not remember what the lengths were. I think they varied from 20 inches to like maybe 28 inches long. I don't remember. But to finish each piece, I went along every side except for the waist on the on the wrapped hem setting on the serger that my mom has. Also, I may have forgotten to pattern the waistband of the skirt, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm getting a rough shape of it on the mannequins. Since I'm using leather and I do not have the tools or machines to be sewing leather, uh, I need as flat of a design as I can get. So I'm doing my best to take out darts and all of that stuff in the muslin to allow for shaping to all happen in the side seams. I then tried it on myself and I began measuring the actual like length I wanted the waistband to take up because I do want even though it sits high on my hip I want it to extend low low onto low down the hip I then took it to the table to refine all my lines I've learned my lessons on other projects not refining my lines using a curved ruler to make everything look pretty I cut my back piece down center back to create an opening to get in and out of. I then started cutting out my leather, but my leather strips actually are not wide enough. So I had to improvise again. I ended up having to put a join in front piece of the waistband to allow for how wide I made it, but it ended up working out fine. So that's good. <laughs> I also cut out my th shoulder straps, which are also made out of leather. I also decided to line all the leather pieces with this brown like polyester bed sheet that I happen to have in my stash. So I, I started with bagging out the shoulder. Before adding the lining to the waistband, I first added this faux fur trim that I found in the dollar store, which is awesome. <laughs> Oh, I forgot I, al I forgot I also added it on the shoulder, uh, so I did that too. To attach the leather strap to the rest of the actual body, I literally just slipped it into the shoulder seam that I left open on the bodice, and I just top stitched it down. I then attached the skirt to the waistband and then began adding the lining to it, which was the worst thing ever. I started sewing it on the machine because I hate hand sewing, but as you can see here, it clearly did not go well, so I ended up just hand stitching the rest of the waistband closed. 
our last step fastenings. I decided to do all lace up fastenings on both the skirt and the top. So that meant cutting holes into the leather as well as the fabric of the skirt. I just followed the instructions on these eyelets that I happen to have. And in the skirt, I did use varying sizes. The leather has large eyelets that I used both on, on the skirt and on the top. But in the fabric part of the skirt, I used slightly smaller eyelets. And he is done. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. Oh man, that was yummy. Wait. We don't have to clean this up, do we?